than 200 lifeguards setting the golden standard and training to save lives on the water. That's how the YMCA of Greater Boston kicked off the summer today. WBZ's Paul Burton shows us the important skills the new lifeguards are learning to make sure everyone has a safe and fun summer. No pulse, no breathing. All right. All right. Back Rescuing an unconscious person in the water. How are you feeling currently? Not good. Evaluating an injured person on the beach. These certified lifeguards were getting some additional training as part of the YMCA's Greater Boston Summer Lifeguard Training Program called Golden Guard. Everybody outside the water! Every person in aquatics from a director to someone who's just going to be a summer lifeguard for us is here in the hundreds. One, two, three. Down, slowly, slowly. The training took place at the Waltham Family YMCA. 24-year-old Haley Fish has been lifeguarding for six years and has already had about 30 saves in her career. Knowing that you've made an impact in someone else's life and ensured that they can continue to go on is um, a feeling that I think is very rare and very special to me. 20-year-old Diego Aguiar has been lifeguarding for two years. You know, every year or so, our curriculum changes for swimming, so we have to get used to, you know, what instructors are doing differently. The YMCA says currently there is a shortage of certified lifeguards throughout the state just as the hot summer beach season gets underway. I think we and DCR yeah. are seeing less labor shortages. Okay. Um, also, compensation is important, and being fairly compensated is a big part of that. Yeah. The other need is just, and you heard the mayor talk about it when she launched Swim Safe last year, mm -hmm. we live in a coastal city. So this is a life or death skill for people to have. This is the 12th year for the YMCA Golden Guard, not only as a refresher course, but it gives these lifeguards from all over the city of Boston the chance to come together, share their stories, and enhance their skills. Refreshers are extremely important because when we're in an emergency situation and we have to think really quickly, you have to have those skills really you know, nailed in. In Waltham, I'm Paul Burton, WBZ News.